Hello, I'm Louise Rowe and this is The Sheer Luck Show. Today we're talking wardrobe essentials with a very stylish content creator and we're spending the day with the SL team. From headshots to a fab shoot with Anna Bromelow to a bit of TikToking at the office, it's a goodie. But first, let me introduce our fabulous guests. I'm joined by CEO of social strategy agency Folk, Rachel Ingram, creative director and podcast host Ebony Francis, and digital creator Patricia O'Dwyer. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. You get gold medal because you were on a train at 6 a.m. this morning. Yes, I was. She came yes. down from Nottingham. I did. That's impressive. Commitment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Easter is upon us. People keep saying, what are you up to? And I'm like, I'm not grown up enough to organise stuff yet. Um, I'm going to my mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how grown up I am. Yeah. I'm quite excited though. My parents are moving house, which is sad, but it's going to be like our last time as a family. Aww. My sister's coming over from Austria and it'll be last time. Do you have to pack? Yeah, which I'm not. My dad's photos. definitely going to, it's going to be like a whole, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? And I'm Ooh, like, oh. You might but, buy some gems. I know. Oh, imagine if you find all your like 90s clothes. <laughs> yeah, I found some scrunchies the other day. Did too. you? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Great fun. Like, they've kind of lost the elasticity, but I ref I'm still going to wear them. <laughs> I found some um, Miss 60 jeans. Oh, Remember those? Like yeah. The really good ones with the poppers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 A photo. I was like, oh my God. And buffaloes. Buffalo oh, Ruffles. Yes. 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 Really Spice Girls. Yes. Yes. We've gone really off topic. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. No, I know we have. <laughs> Sorry. Easter. Well, we were just saying before we started rolling that um, strategizing on how to steal kids' yeah. Easter eggs and like hoard all their It's a chocolate. dangerous time of year for mums because there's a lot of chocolate in the house. Yeah. And you're hiding it from your kids, but at the same time, you're just dipping in slowly <laughs> every bad. evening. Yeah. 100% so, goes in the cupboard every night. And I think mini eggs are probably... Oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm actually... One. I have a problem. Yeah, me I too. Have a, I have them in the fridge. Do you, me too. Do you I'm suck them old. or do you crunch them? I, like, crack, crack them in half and then suck the, like... In same, the same! <laughs> oh, my God. How I'm do you I'm glad I'm not alone. I was yeah. like, this could go one of two ways. <laughs> <laughs> Were you just saying they sell out? Well, no, we were saying like just Easter. They they own, no, they oh, only oh, sell yeah. them between yeah. Christmas and Easter. Oh, and then they come off the shelves. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. no, they're gone. So you have to stock up. And also we were saying how early we've been eating them, but that's not our, we're the victims of marketing, right? And I do, I feel a bit annoyed about that because things start so early. It's like how early the Christmas cups come yeah. out. Yes. Mm. As soon as like Halloween finishes, I feel like that's the next day. It's all Christmas. And now you go straight into Valentine's and Easter, basically. I felt like first. that until I saw the mini eggs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm quite grateful. But I was like, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. From Me Christmas, too. you get mini eggs. Like, yeah. fine. Brightens Miss up January and February. <laughs> what am I moaning not? about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, time for a bit of fashion. Next, classic minimalist dresser Lisa Pinto undertook the sheer luxe wardrobe challenge. From what she would save in a fire to her go-to date night outfit, she gives us all the inspiration we need for a perfectly curated edit. Take a look. Hi, I'm Lisa Pantu. I'm here with Sheerlux today. Um, I'm undertaking the wardrobe challenge and I'll be answering some questions. I haven't seen the questions before, so let's have a look. First up, one outfit you wear when you have no idea what to wear. That's really easy because I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing a oversized blazer with a pair of jeans, a tank top and Manolo Blahnik heels. Just always opt for an oversized blazer because it easily elevates every outfit or smartens it up. It's just such an easy piece to throw on. One piece you're already excited to wear for spring. That is really, really easy because I just received an amazing piece that I'm gonna get right now. This House of Dagmar jacket is one piece I'm really, really looking forward to wearing in spring. I actually styled it with a dress because it's such a casual fit. I think it's a really, really great piece to have for spring because of the color and the material. And it makes me so excited for the new season. The third question, the oldest piece in your wardrobe. Mm, I think I got this. The oldest piece in my wardrobe are these Topshop trousers. <laughs> I think I bought them over 10 years ago. They're actually from their petite collection. They're a pair of black, simple, cropped trousers. I still wear them, 
so often because I think they go, they fit me really well. They're, they're high waisted. So these are definitely one piece um, I'll be keeping in my wardrobe for a lot longer. The piece you've worn more than any other. This was also really easy because I honestly wear it all the time. It's this cashmere jumper from Soft Goat. I honestly think a cashmere jumper is just the one staple piece that goes with everything in your wardrobe. It's super soft. They do really, really high quality cashmere and I think it feels so amazing on your skin. I wear it at home, I wear it to the office, I wear it for dinners. Actually, I have the same piece in a different color which might be more suitable for spring. It's this one. So it's the exact same jumper, just in a different color. And again, I wear it so often and it goes with, I feel, all my outfits. And I think it's just the perfect staple piece. And it just, the color is maybe a little bit more suitable for the new season. The next question, the most glamorous thing you own. I think I know. It's this Prada bag. It's just such a fabulous piece and I usually just wear lots of blacks and grays and neutral colors and I think this bag definitely elevates every outfit. I can literally wear this with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt and a pair of flip-flops, um, but also on a night out with a nice dress. So I think it's so versatile and wearable, so you should never be afraid of buying something that is a little bit extra. Next question, the best high street piece you own? That is very simple as well, because I always get so many compliments wearing it. It's this Zara jacket. It's a tweed jacket, it has very Chanel vibes to it. And every time I wear it, um, people are asking me where it's from. I usually wear it with a pair of jeans and I think especially now in spring, it's gonna be such a nice piece to have. Next question, one piece you always get compliments on. I think I know which one it is. These totem boots. I absolutely love the shape of them and they're so comfortable as well because they're not as high and they look really modern. I usually wear them with um, a long skirt and I think they're really versatile as well and it's definitely one item that I always receive so many compliments on. One item you always take on holiday. That's a tough one because I take so many things on holiday. <laughs> I don't know how to pack light, so. Um, but I think it would be my Loewe bag. I've had this for a couple of years now and it's a loyal companion to all my holidays. Um, it's just such a perfect staple piece. It fits so much inside, all your essentials. Um, that goes with any outfit. Um, for the summer. And next up, the perfect spring trousers. These Lulu Studio silk trousers. I absolutely love them. I love the color. I love the cut. Um, they just fit perfectly. And because they're 100% silk, they feel so soft on the skin as well. Ooh, and I have the perfect thing to pair them with. It's this Marcella London jacket. The color just matches perfectly. And especially in spring, sometimes it can still be a little bit chilly. So I would just wear a white tank top with the trousers and just put this jacket on top. And the last question, the biggest investment you've ever made? Well, that's easy <laughs> because it's my classic Chanel flap. I've had it for two years, but I think the cost per wear has even out by now because I wear it all the time. I've been wanting this bag ever since I 
I can imagine. I don't even know for how long and I've worked really hard to to get it. I know it's it's such an investment, but I think it's so worth it. And I really hope that I'll be able to pass it down one day to my daughters who will also be able to cherish it for what it is. That was so much fun. I hope I gave you some inspo and hope to see you soon. Oh, I love that. I love that she still wears her old Topshop buys, so do I. I couldn't have this sofa of fashion girls here without talking about your own favourite vintage places to shop, favourite vintage piece in your wardrobe. Like, spill it. Come on, spill the beans. Well, I'm obsessed with pre-loved. I do spend money and invest on accessories, but pre-loved for me is my place to go. Um, I'm actually wearing a pre-loved suit today. This is an old men's M&S suit. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, it's like 20 pounds. Do you on, tailor yes. the trousers? No. They're okay. They just they fit wow. fine, actually. Yes, Where that's you, amazing. Yeah. Where did you find? Them? So from a local, a local charity shop. Okay. Um, but I will raid. Um, I've late, actually raided my late granddad's wardrobe too. He has got some amazing gems, amazing oh, blazers. Um, but yeah, just charity shops looking for like you know great affluent areas that got the gems in there. You Maybe were saying that earlier, weren't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm obsessed with this shop in Hampstead. It's not a charity shop. It's called Designs NW3. Ooh. I probably shouldn't have said it because now everyone's going to go there. <laughs> but it's like all the wealthy yeah. ladies of Hampstead oh, yes. and the surrounding areas just come in and get rid of their, you know, like a Saint Laurent dress they've worn once. Oh, or like I found a Jill Sander coat in there for 160 pounds, like full length, worn a couple of times. Wow. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, yeah, I might go today. Yes. It's so good. Yeah. It, you're totally right. It's about where the yes, charity yeah. shop is. So, and actually, funnily enough, my 14 year old niece said that they're. It's quite a trend now with teenagers to go. They'll they'll sort of hit all the charity shops on the high street, and that's their like Saturday afternoon. Yes, which I love yeah. because you could be doing a lot worse. Well, we as all a went teenager. to top shops. So we did. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, and I think that's really sweet and cool. And they'll literally yeah, the, cool. they'll sort of go to four in a row, see what they can get. But um, it's it's geographically go to yeah. a sort of wealthy area or a chic area. I also like online. Um, I like we liked. And Relux. Relux, yeah. yes. And Very good. Circle. Do you guys know the circle? No. Oh, yes. oh, I'm obsessed. Ooh. I found, so far from there, I've had a uh, totem, like, like army, what's it called? Like utility jacket. Oh, nice. Um, which is gorgeous, black. And then I got a Frankie Shop blazer, which wow, I've been, I'd been like, mm, shall I, shall I not? And then I found one there. I was like, cool. But it's my favourite. And it's that thing, I think, where they, similar to those other, like, online places they've kind of like curated it for you yes. and shot it on models and it just helps the experience because yeah. I do think it's quite difficult it sometimes mm. to have the vision yes. and if you're saying that you know as someone who really knows then I think it must be a real minefield if you're not yeah, necessarily working yeah I, just, I do struggle a little bit I think, I think it's a talent do you have yes. any tips well I was going to say um, a couple more curate and rotate yeah amazing um, 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 the um, owner Melanie she shoots everything on herself and it's oh. all like independent mm. emerging um, brands. It just is so aesthetically yeah. pleasing. Oh, it's it's gorgeous. gorgeous. And there's a smaller one in Nottingham, actually, Nottingham based, Pine and Treasure. And again, she's, um, her name's Katie. She's currently pregnant and she's got all these beautiful pieces on her. And it was really great because in the DM, she'll kind of show you another way to style it or, yeah. you know, showing you how oversized it is. So it's really great to have a little community yeah. like that as well, I think. Yeah, 100%. I think it's finding those people that can like do the hard work for you. Yeah. Yes. Is there anything you wouldn't buy vintage? Like, I'm not sure about shoes because I would worry if they're going to fall apart because that can happen if it, they're, you know, they've been worn I feel like if it's a brand that you know and you can see it, I think it's easier to buy something like shoes from a shop like Designs mm -hmm. or from a, from yeah. a charity yes. shop because you can see them, you can mm -hmm. feel them and you know that brand and you, you trust that brand. Whereas buying shoes online, I'm always a bit wary. Yeah, true. Yeah, it can be. I think, like, it depends. Yeah, sometimes they kind of need to be, like, new. I'm always doing it for my daughter, though. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm, I've got her, like, some, like, Nike Dunks or Vintage. Oh, oh, really? Because they were, like, t a tenner. And it, I do, I'm, like, a little bit, like, unwilling to spend the money on yes. shoes for her that are, like, 40, 50 quid. Yeah. When yeah, they she'll wear three months. months. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's another thing. That's why it's good to have three kids, because you just pass the word. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to have more kids. Yeah. Um, that's <laughs> Another option. Another, okay. That's another option. Um, <laughs> and actually, if you're going to spend more, like a watch, you know, that high jewellery is absolutely something people buy, obviously, secondhand, vintage. And I think just be sure that there's a certificate of authenticity or go to a proper dealer. Yep. Because that is where, if you're spending thousands, yeah. you want it's to It's like Args as well. Yes. I love, like, I, my, one of my favourites, which I mentioned um, before we talked about this, was my uh, Louis Vuitton that I got off the Hoster. 
Oh, which I is love like, the whole I'm stuff. obsessed, yeah. Oh, she does, she buys the best things. Yeah, she always she has does. really good pieces. And like really yeah. well priced as well. Yeah. I actually think like, yeah, amazing. So that's the thing, it really annoys me when something is pre-loved and it's about £100 pound less this, than yes, it is. Yes, yes, And you're yeah, like, exactly. well, what's totally. the point? Yeah. That, that happens well go to quite a lot. That's that experience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Um, and actually, guys, all of these names that we've dropped are going to be in the show notes. If you're like, the, host, the what? The, let me write that down. Um, so next up, we are joining the team for a typical day in the world of Sheerlux. Enjoy. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Honestly, I'm trying really hard to be jolly, but this is so miserable. It's so grey. It's April this week. And it's still seven degrees and raining. But anyway, otherwise, I'm really well. Busy days today. I know, what are we up to? So, you are, you're gonna, you're gonna leave me in a bit, but we're starting the day um, at, we're at Westworks, which is an office space in West London, and we are meeting Julietta Dexter, who primarily is the founder of what was TCS, is now Science Magic Inc., and they are one of the UK's biggest PR and innovation agencies. But she is also um, the chair of SmartWorks, which is a charity that helps women from underprivileged backgrounds basically dress for success. As part of our aim this year to spotlight more women doing amazing things in the charity sector, we're here to take a headshot to a company and interview on site for that. Love it, well let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Did anyone ever find out a loop in the airport? Yeah. Is it nice? Nope. Bad gum. I didn't even know what loop was. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. How are you? So nice to meet you. I am Julieta Dexter, and I'm the chair of nationwide charity SmartWorks. How's it going, SmartWorks? Amazing. How's this to say ten years? You said. That's amazing. What have you got planned for it? We've got all sorts of things. We started with um, the launch of a uh, national un female unemployment index. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe it, but there isn't actually a data set around how many women are unemployed. Mm -hmm. And is it always underprivileged women? We serve our clients, mm -hmm. anybody who identifies as a woman. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the pandemic, we had uh, clients who had been air hostesses had never had to wear clothes for one mm. because they had a uniform. Of course, yeah. More recently, we've been seeing a lot of um, Ukrainian clients. A lot of people, uh, first jobs, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all, all sorts of things. Okay, how interesting. And it's always related back to what you want to work. Or what you two, two things. Mm. Take the sweat out of what you're going to wear at the end of mm. Like, focus on something else, but that we will do for you. Then they will have interview coaching with expert coaches. Mm. And currently, 72% of our clients get the job. That's amazing. And then once they get the job, they always feel like they've got the job. Then they come back, mm. and then we give them our clients another five pieces of clothing. You know, people think clothes are so superficial, but like it's just so important, isn't it? Mm. We call it the magic moment. When basically they go into the changing room and they come out and there's just this magic mm. moment of, oh my goodness, is this really mm. good? Our kind of energy at SmartWorks is about positivity, optimism, mm. confidence. So what we do is we give our clients the confidence to believe that they can. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you to it. I've got another sweet bit. Cheerio. Thanks so much for coming. Hi, Eloise. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Have fun in the rain. Bye. Hi, Eloise. Hi, Eloise. Hi, Eloise. Hi, Eloise. Just arrived. Where did you come from? We're at Dartmouth House. Um, we're doing a shoot for Reese for their spring party wear on the lovely Anna. We're just on look two now. We're doing a few with flash, a few without flash. There's like different sort of lighting setups. We've done some still life as well, which is quite nice of the accessories. Like there's some cute party bags, lovely shoes, you know, so it's like the vibe of like she just left her shoes, gone dancing barefoot. Hi. What kind of makeup have you gone for on Anna today? Uh, today it's like a fresh kind of summer look. So like rosy cheeks and like a bit flushed on the lip. Anna, what's your favourite thing about this look? Well, I'm always a, a fan of a, a take on a tuxedo. 
Okay, so we've got a lot of tailoring, recess tailoring really well. So we've got this really cool pinstripe suit, which is like collarless, which is really nice. And then this one, I think, is the next look. But this is going to be a white blazer with a waistcoat and matching trousers. So we love a waistcoat moment after that. <laughs> And then we've got a pink suit. This is really beautiful. The colour, perfect for spring. And then on here, we've got some dress options as well. This, the colour is really beautiful on this. I've got an array of really cool yeah, earrings, yeah, lot of sparkles, too. classic gold chains. Oh, so. well, Amber, is that the Zara one? Zara one, yes. Oh. It is, but I got this like last year. So it's an old one. So everyone's just keeping it. Yes. I love this look. When I'm doing copy about like suits or waistcoats, I always say there is nothing more classic than like a three-piece suit, and this is exactly that, so I'm obsessed. Right, guys, I'm gonna go, but enjoy the rest of your shoot. Hey, hi. You don't wanna stay in the rain? Oh, maybe next time. <laughs> oh. We are having a team lunch from Peak. I think that might be them calling me, hold on. Hello. Yes, it is. Hello! A dreamy setter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, it's 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 yeah, it looks amazing. This is the bra. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Those are cheese balls. Oh, stop. Right? <laughs> so good. Guys. Sweet potato and feta frittata. 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 <laughs> frittata. <laughs> Don't, I, I'm already like panicking that. Um, no, now I have my kid. No, no, I'm going to get there for me. And I'm here. How good is this there? Yeah, what's in there? So many. Loads of... Oh my god, wow. Oh, can I take one of the... Whatever that is to go to my What is that? Arancini. Oh, I can really see oh, it. Oh gosh, have the Paris. <laughs> they look amazing. Oh my god. That's horrible. I'm so excited. Do you want me to ask you? Adam, you're staring at that Arancini. Yeah, I heard you say that. I'll hardly ever yeah. like this one the next, I can't be the only one. Okay, yeah, what do you need them to do? <laughs> I'm done. Maybe it takes a minute. brownies. Oh my god. I had a brownie. Wait, no, I've got them on my desk. Okay, what are we doing this afternoon? So this afternoon we're filming a TikTok. I'm going to move my snacks. With flower accessories, which is quite fun. So we've got lots of little bits and bobs. So this is my one. Which is a bit smaller. And then we've got this little bag, which is also from Zara. Which I actually think is cute. We have a bodysuit and a top. So I think Amrit's going to put this on. And I think Florence is going to wear this one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Your eyelashes. Is that how you wear it? You do really Is that look meant to be in the back? From <laughs> Mexico. Un poco loco. I think your face is too big. <laughs> you look like you can really see. It's really uncomfortable. I'm assuming this is What's in my mouth? There we go. There we go. What would happen if you just showed, to, showed up to work like that? Do you know what I mean? It's a bonus. It's very dramatic. Like here. Then maybe some sunglasses on top. And then you just kind of like, you know, you do your work. You're just like. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. If it's what I think it is. This is the famous pasta sauce. Oh my god, stop. Sapna. I love. Have you tried it? Like vodka penne. Oh, it's big. Yeah, yeah. I got oh, it. Yeah. 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 Ooh, it's the pasta sauce. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, well, let's say, I think we should save it, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's see. Yeah. Rigatoni. Rigatoni. Thanks, Heinz. Thanks, Heinz. <laughs>
<laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Um, you've been saying something really exciting. Oh what? God, Can we go see her? What do you mean? Oh my god. Oh, you baby. <laughs> I think it's a one kilogram bunny. How do you pick that? Because it's. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pig! It's a daddy! He's a daddy! Sorry, but you would be so sick if you ate that. Because I keep it next week, it's not like. That's quite cool. Oh, he Perfect. is heavy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't do that. <laughs> okay, go on, one more. Last one. One more each. One more each. Gosh, that was a bad, fierce chest pass. Don't do it in my face, okay? Oh! Oh! <laughs> it was gonna happen, girl. Oh, bunny! Oh, 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 that's, that's the end funny. of the Easter Bunny. It's just you've got new <laughs> This is a ride. I thought you might want some. Yeah. The end of your day. Oh, yes, geez. Geez. What a nice 360 after just Can I have a glass of wine too, please? I feel like we need one after today. <laughs> There you go. Thank you so much. Wow, it sounds like a cowbell. A I'm going to remove the bell. Though. It's a bit annoying. Um, oh, it's so good. Uh -huh. I mean, today has not been good, has it? Yeah. Today's really fried my brain. Today's fried my brain. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rest of your meeting. Enjoy the rest of the bunny. Enjoy your meeting. Here's what happens when you stay last. Hi, guys. Hi. Bye. Oh, so nice to see the team, as always. And how amazing does Anna Bromelow look? I mean, she's outrageous. She's kind of like J-Lo, ages backwards. I love a bit of Reese. So good to see this season's picks. Okay, a new season is here. So I want to pick your brains on the brands you guys are currently loving. And I'll share mine too. First, <laughs> 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 fine, fine, okay. There is a brand launching this month called St. Clair. Mm -hmm. And I'm a sucker for just a beautiful linen, floral dress and I know there's been a lot in the press about like oh they're done now floral dresses they will never die no, and no. these are stunning they're all organic um organic linen and cotton and they're sort of hand painted anyway they're beautiful oh, amazing. yeah nice. can't wait to wear them I feel like I have moved on from florals and I've moved on to bandana I'm obsessed Ooh. with the bandana print and Arizona love you know she oh, used yeah. to do oh, all those the, yeah, hiking the, yeah sandals so she's now doing bandana clothes and she has these really cool bandana print trousers jackets oh, and awesome. even um, you know the Birkenstocks that are kind of the mules ones yeah yes. she's done them in bandana oh, print. oh wow. amazing. she is so cool yeah so that's that's on my wish list at the amazing. moment oh, nice. I'm yeah I'm like linen 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 <laughs> linen I'm so excited to wear just linen my favorite is archetype I don't know if you guys know them it's know a mother-daughter duo um, and their stuff is so gorgeous. I've got a couple of things arriving soon. What's the vibe? Um, very simple. Very, it's like a very, it's like a small sustainable brand. So it's yeah. stuff that you know you can wear over and over and over again. So in my wardrobe, I've got a dress from them, which I actually wore on my week in a week in my wardrobe thing with Shilux. Um, and I've got a skirt, like a wrap skirt, and then they do like blouses, tr like trousers. Very simple, but like beautifully made, and like you'll wear. A hundred mm. times. That's what I want from life now, yeah. Yeah, actually. Yes. Maybe that's because I'm getting old or something. <laughs> but I just think something timeless and, yeah. and that can last. Yeah, you know? yeah, I know. I mean, look at Archetype. They're really okay. gorgeous. Ooh. I've forgotten the brand, but the designer is Amy Powney. Mother of Pearl? Mother, Mother of, Pearl. of Pearl. Goodness yeah. me. That's Thank sustainable, so isn't much. it? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful brand. And her kind of... Um, her ethics are all about from uh, feel to the finished garment. And actually she's got some beautiful pieces with really structured and chic with little kind of minimal details on them. Um, and she's got a lovely film out actually. We, uh, she's coming out now um, on, I think it's Sky Documentaries and yeah. now TV about, it's called Fashion Reimagined. And it's oh. basically following her three year journey to kind of create the first ever sustainable oh, collection that. from, yeah, wow. she's from very, very cool. to I feel like her stuff's always got a bit of a twist to oh, it as well. Gorgeous. Which I like. Yeah. like it's yes. almost like a classic, but then it will have something unexpected. Beautiful buttons yeah. and the yeah. pearl detail, but she's got a beautiful dress. It's called a Nisha dress, which is just Ooh, stunning, gorgeous. like kind of gauzy. And 
it moves well and it's in a champagne color which is like oh, my kind of spring spring tonal shade i feel like we're chomping at the bit to just switch oh, it up oh, and wear spring I, I because even th this morning it's sunny but freezing and so we were all yeah. like dress no Don't just a to bit no. too chilly Layers. so yes. Kat, even more excited about these brands yes. do you feel like your whole instagram is people wishing for summer right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like every <laughs> post every is like or, yes. or the people who are in the maldives on holiday and i'm oh. just like no. oh. <laughs> get go away yes. unfollow <laughs> Um, guys, thank you so much. It was lovely to see you all. That is it oh, for yeah. today. Thank you so much to Rachel, Patricia, Ebony, of course, Lisa, and the rest of the SL team. Next week, we are taking a break for the Easter holidays. Hope you guys have a lovely time. But the following week, Charlotte Collins is back with some more fabulous guests. Fashion with Polly, some beauty with Adiola, plus lots more. In the meantime, we would absolutely love it if you guys could comment below, give us a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a lovely Easter.